contains infinite stories, most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But My the first story? four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a Oh look, this is you, chat. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting, and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a serpent rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been... Yay! Won. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? <laughs> across the world, nascent societies are taking a deep breath, looking across the landscape and preparing for greatness. Please be a good game. I want to like this. Your first objective is to survive the Neolithic era and then your first era star. Era stars measure your achievements in the game. We will cover them in more detail soon. <coughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go, guys. Let's go. Wait, I can't use this? Oh no, I have to use the stick again. Oh no. Oh, come on. Now is the ideal time to learn more about previewing the FIMS resource output of tiles. The FIMS? Who wants to know about the FIMS, guys? Let me show it to you. Selecting the tile output button at the bottom. Take some time to observe how terrain affects resource. You know what? We're just going to do this. Whoop. You're going to be able to see everything until stuff pops up down here, and then we're going to have another problem. Feel free to admire my beautiful manly hair. Alright. Let us jump right in. Map focus. So we want to go... Horses deposit. I guess this is a place where we want to... Discoveries can be made by being the first army. Okay, let's just... What, what? Uh-oh, we're moving. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to... 
which means conquer the world. Let's go. Let's see what all this is. Sustenance, security, and pleasure. Wonderful stuff, this simple food. Disorganized, but still effective with their simple weapons and hand to hand combat. Shit! <laughs> it's like they're like me. Why do I always have to select them? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ah. Oh, the turn is over. Just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study. An ancient campfire. So what are we doing? Are we... Your tribe has enough influence to found its first outpost. Outposts are crucial to the development of your early empire because they allow you to claim territories outlined by white dotted lines. <laughs> Say it should deposit. I mean, wait, we're on an island. Okay, listen, we're gonna waste a few turns, but there's horses down here. We want horses. We love horse, horses. Horses. How about we found it down? Oh, wait, let's go. No, stop it. Can you go there? No. This way. Yes. Go. Ancient campfire. Acknowledge. We've acknowledged it. Should we find our first base here? Maybe our first outpost. Surrounded by... So this is all... If we found it here, this is all our territory. How do we found... Um... We found an outpost. We are so ready. Here, claim territory. Found a new outpost in an, any neutral. Su okay. Oh, this is what's suggested. We can found it anywhere else, but it's suggested we go here because there's. Um, let's go over here. Oh, because there's uh, food here, huh? And here we have only seven food, five food, and three. I guess. Let's go here, so we have a good amount of... Uh, of tools, or whatever it is. A good amount of cock wheels. World deed locked. What the hell? Oh, it has been unlocked by another empire. Wait, I'm covering it up again, right? Uh, let me move over here then. You won't. You don't. You won't need. Be, you won't be needing to see all the turns. Like turn five, turn six. Oh, guys, it's turn nine now. You gotta. You can't miss it. We build it to Marahu. Marahu. We found it to Marahu. I love this, uh, this wig. I always have hair in my mouth. It makes me so happy. So can we build something here? No transport routes. Outpost creation. Oh, it's being constructed. Can we move with these guys? While it's being constructed. In the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts up into clear blue skies. Fire! Calling a few tribesmen, you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine growing stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourself on the edge of a settlement on fire. Wait a minute, suddenly? You didn't realize you... Okay, never mind. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You're about to direct your men to put out these fires with lose or... Lose... <laughs> 
first i read lose oil you put the fire out with oil don't don't do don't put the fire out with oil it won't work it'll, it'll do the opposite don't pour oil on the fire Yout, yotes, 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 yotes are running away. They could become part of your tribe if you give if you give chase now. But what that would mean losing the secrets of construction. Yeah, we'll extend chase the yotes, yotes. Uh, we will just get another unit if we do this. Let's extinguish. I don't want to know what I don't know what to do with another unit. Oh wait, maybe this is not the end of the map. Maybe we're not on an island. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, crap. Maybe I should have taken the party, huh? Why are the tooltips so enormous? There are three ways to gain your first era star. Either increase your population, gather science from Ooh. Science curiosities are hunt down wild animals. Wild animals in order to gain units and increase your... Okay, whatever. I'm a dirty boy. Dirty boy. <laughs> dirty boy. This is how life was back then. We didn't have bathrooms. Let me make the game a little bit prettier. Oh, this looks good. I like it. This is my known quality of 4K. Unfortunate that you can see it, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so the city is being... I'm going to assume the city is going... It's being built on its own. It's already built. So we can just move with these guys, right? What's over there? What's over there? Okay, skip a turn and then move. Tutorial videos. Okay, we got videos for the tutorial. Fine. Empire. Oh, man. All the tutorials. This is the Empire screen. Here you can review the progress, achievements, and heritage of your village. Most importantly, this is where you can track era star goals in detail. Please take some time to familiarize yourself. Okay. Okay, I have familiarized. Familiarized. I familiarized myself real fast. Because I'm Wonder Dan. Exhausted. Is there a button to end the turn? A dedicated end turn button. I mean, on, on the keyboard. <clears throat> 15 food. Is this our... So this is our territory. By claiming the city, it's we, we don't only claim, like, the tiles around it. We claim the whole land around it. Like, a good amount of land... Uh, but we're not uh, we're not using these tiles here yet. We're using only the tiles that are surrounding us. And I guess once we grow a little bit, we can use uh, the additional tiles. Uh -huh. we move. What is this white thing here? Is this the the land of someone else? The forbidden land. I need to explore my own land first. This is so dark all the way down here. Another ancient encampment. Everyone is doing world deeds and we're just wandering around like a bunch of Neanderthals. And it's your fault. What can we do in the city? We're still creating the outpost. Oh, I should have created it right away instead of walking up and down a few turns. Violent pursuits. Oh, the women are at it again. 
They're so toxic and violent in my culture. In the heart of the settlement, the tribe huddled close to share warmth through the coldest days, but for some time it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing, and they found the means through violent games. Grappling, fighting contests of strength and endurance. Fun contests where opponents fight with hide-bound fists has gained quite a following to the point, like boxing, that the outpost's usual foraging missions are under threat. What is your say on this new pursuit? We should allow this contest, but only at decree times of the year. The toughening of the tribe is worth the cost of a foraging capacity. Combat strength on unit. But only on nomadic tribe. That's not good. We're proceeding through the ages. What if we can never... What if we can never make use of the combat strength before we go into the next time? And if we focused on the food, we would have gotten to the time faster. These guys will be forbidden. What is this? Plus ten food... Five food for... domestication research cost so either we get more food or and we're wait in civilization you grew with the food that you had right in this game i have no clue let's forbid it it's forbidden we're pacifists here until it's time to not be a pacifist and we're violent insane not jobs but up until then we're completely pacifistic until it's time to murder. Yes. Oh wait, I want to go over there. Go over there. Change your route. Wild berries. Are they hell berries? <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. Um, go here. This way. Right. You can't move. Oh. We move. We'll go over here. That'll be four turns. A first outpost means a first step into a new territory and a new extension of your empire's power, but also a new vulnerability. The nomadic tribe reached the ancient era with the Nubians. The wonderful Mungung Bubung has been achieved by somebody else. Oh, sweet lord. What do we do without the Bubung? The knowledge star has been earned. The knowledge star. You found the curiosity. All these windows popping up are... Listen, all these windows popping up... Oh! Are tr triggering me! I closed five windows right now. This way. <laughs> can we do something here? Oh, we can produce a tank. Oh, no, it's... Uh, never mind. Outpost relocation. How many people do we have in this village? What is the size of this place? This place is... One out of four. And if we make uh, another tribe, then... It'll be smaller again. Alright, we'll, we'll keep this one unit. God damn it, every click something opens, pops up and happens. You stand up at a, you stand at a crossroad for many moons. The tribe has trekked the wilderness slowly, torturously, learning the secrets of this world. How the materials hidden in the deep places and in, <laughs> and in plain sight might be fashioned to the tribe's advantage. How the beasts and plants of the lands and seas can be shibby dude. Let's see, uh, the choice is... Makers. Only a lack of imagination will limit what we might one day fashion with our hands. Farmers will study the land and its riches. Storytellers. Astronomy. Um, what is Wattle and the Daub? Oh, plus one industry per population. Plus one food per population. Plus one science per population. Okay, science, yes. You've earned one era star and may now choose a new culture for the next era. Sure. 
Can we be ninjas? Robot ninjas with laser eyes. Historical empires have grown from... Okay, whatever. Stop giving me this. Pop-ups. I hate it. I'll, I'll wing it. I'm fine. Oh, they have taken... They have chosen a population. All right, we can be Assyrians. The tallest... Do we have any... Okay. Raid masters. Okay, I'll pass. Babylonians. Science. Her research technologies on capital. Ooh, science. Aperture science. We do what we can because we must. Should be doopy. So these are fighters. These here are influence and territory. I guess we can have the bigger territory. Money per tra traders. Stability on district. Oh no, we have to manage the districts. Okay, we are, of course, of course, of course, we are scientists. Stop asking me those pop ups. I hate them. Confirm. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. This means more than just markets for the Babylonians. Yay! It's also the beginning of mathematics, astronomy, one plus and a set one of equals five. Laws that I wouldn't want to be caught breaking. Those pop ups are triggering me hard. All right. What do you mean? No, the, the joke is over. The joke. Listen, the joke is over. Okay, it died five minutes ago when I was in the bathroom. Cleaning my face and everything. It's gone. Live with it. Jesus Christ. Maybe one day the Neanderthal will make it back. But he's gone. He left, and when, when he walked away, I shot him in the back, make sure he, he didn't come back. You know, maybe one day there's another one here. Who knows? All right, let's actually enjoy the game, maybe, without having... <laughs> take the hair out of the face all the time. Maybe without that, it would be fantastic. Wait, science? Current research, nothing. Perfect. Select one of the elements below. So what do we want to research? City defense. The calendar. Carpentry. Oh, this learns horses. We'll go horses. We'll learn horses. <laughs> learn. We'll learn domesticating horses. There's horses down here. That's the resource that we have. Other than these sage bushes. I don't think they are going to be extremely useful in the near future. I wonder if I can make it that this, this thing doesn't pop up every time I select uh, an army. Kana Kicks Kicksley discovered. We discovered the Kana Kicksley. <laughs> what are these? Scouts. Hunting party. Oh, our party consists of two scouts. Okay, got it. What happened to the city? You are now ready to build your first city. Oh, now we're ready to build it? Already, I thought this... Okay. Oh, it was an outpost. Now it's gonna become city. Yay! City! Babylon. Babylon. We can create scouts. Okay, I guess this is like... Uh, oh, you can't even see it. I'm gonna have to move my camera back here. Uh, wherever I go, I'm in the way. It's so annoying. Maybe I should move over there. There we go. I hope that's better. 
Um, I can do pottery workshop. Oh, now, now you're actually looking the right way at me and I can show you the timer correctly for once. Alright, uh, we could produce another group of scouts, huh? What is this? Pottery workshop. I'm an, I'm an idiot. I should have made this. Can we do both? Oh, this is now in the queue. What if we trash this and make the pottery workshop? This one generates science, right? One researcher slot, one science per researcher. This generates food, this generates... Uh, what is it called? Industry. It's not cog wheels, it's industry. Okay, now I want to find out what this is. Uh, <laughs> we're here and we still don't know it. Unknown strategic resource. Oh, maybe we don't have the technology to know what it is. It might be... Uranium! No, just kidding. We're far away from uranium usage. So this is how far we can see, right? This is the fog of war, but explored area. And this is unexplored. It looks like this. Wouldn't you know? If we want to move over here, we'll have to go back and cross the little river. I hope no. What if we? What if we do next turn? Oh, they move on their own. Perfect. We are crossing the river, Billy. It's gonna be fantastic. And if you scroll all the way out, you get like the strategic map without details just colors and stuff colors and numbers off we go babylon <clears throat> right. scientist affinity yeah we want to have more scientists what is this there is one territory your Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Don't worry your pretty little head. Three more turns and we'll get... Uh, whatever, whatever we did in here. Pottery workshop. Will do. Oh, I like how the land builds up when we discover it. Over this way. Follow me. Over this way, of course. Off we go. Let's go. Okay. We did it. Yay. Pottery. Population growth. When a city produces more food than is needed to feed its population, it is said to be in growth state. Okay, it's the same as civilization then. Food is four. We could use more food, huh? 16 food consumption and we're producing, I guess we're producing four over. We're producing 11 industry. 16 consumption? Yeah, if we calculate it, we should be producing 5 over. Strange. Calculate it. This one is correct. 11, 11, money, 3 money from the main plaza. Alright, let's produce... Uh, what should we make, make next? Costs 490... 
public cer ceremonies. But 45 turns to, to make a ceremony? I think it's better if we use if we build all this first. Um yeah, we're gonna do We're gonna do we're gonna wait, stability goes down if we build these. Stability is at a hundred percent. Expanding a city by adding districts decreases its stability. So these actions are only available when the city stability is sufficiently high. Alright, we'll build um we'll stay the astronomy course. Okay, Billy? Okay for you? We'll take the, the worst place. It gives us the least food. Four food. Six food. Two food. This is a bad place. We'll take this one. We'll have a, we have a surplus of two food now, huh? That is not a lot. Domestication researched. Can we go to the horses now? Or do we have to expand our city all the way down there? Okay, our guys are all the way over yonder. What is this? Papyrus deposit. Oh, this was used uh, as an old version of paper. All the paper. It was made of papyrus. <laughs> I think we should we should go back with our guys, huh? We don't have any defense. My researchers are idle. Oh. Excuse you me, excuse me you. You want a wheel? Irrigation. Irrigation? Let's go irrigation. Empire set up access to a resource by constructing an outpost in the territory where the resource is found. Then building an extractor district onto the resource. Oh, okay. So I'll go back with my guys here. And I'll build extractor district. So maybe I have to do it from the city. Which means the city needs to grow to, to be able to access these, huh? Skip us a few turns here. Population loss. Son of a... Son of a son. Damn it. Our city became smaller again. And now it became bigger again. Please make up your mind. I want to get the horses. Let's go. Ransack. So we can ransack or claim territory. Come over here. What is with the horses? And we lost one population again. Wonderful, wonderful. What can we do here? Build an outpost? We find a new outpost in any neutral territory. Cannot be done as the territory is not a valid one for this action. We can't found an outpost because this territory belongs to this city. We could found an outpost somewhere here. Oh, okay. Alright, I went all the way. Okay. I went down there for nothing. I guess we're going to build us a good old territory. A territory. Over yonder. This seems to be a good area, right? This place has access to the sea. Water. 
This one has a river going through. This one has a new resource. Wait, this one has a new resource. This one doesn't have any resources. Maybe I need to explore it. Why did they go all the way down here? Because of the horses. Okay. Well, because of the horses that automatically join us. Once we can. Once we are big enough with the Babylon. A first visible mark of this new culture. I hope the style is pleasing because it will be around for as long as the city lasts. Yeah, I like this uh, architecture. Don't worry your pretty little head, sir. We are fine and dandy. A horse ranch. Uh, we need to make a farmer's quarter, huh? Maybe. Cannot be done without enough strategic, strategic research deposits. We can't. What does what does it mean? Do we need to build something over these first? But it's like in the fog of war. Maybe we just have to wait, huh? Five food per horse. Turns before completion 18. Needs one horse. <clears throat> Let's go with the farmer's quarters. The farmer's quarters. If they're surrounded by other farmers, they will get a bonus. This can't be a farmer. These two can be farmers. But uh, that one can have one, two surrounding farmers. Three, four. Oh, this one here can have all these as farmers. Build it here. This music is irritating. Population loss, and it's your fault. <laughs> I b -b 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 blame you. So, this area has papyrus. This area has papyrus. This area has more sage and poop. Oh, incense. Incense makes money. Papyrus gives food, industry, money, and vision range. This one gives two industry, money, and vision. So this one gives food. Papyrus. Yeah, we'll build it in this area. We'll build another outpost over yonder. Over hither, over titter, and also over yonder. And we build it over a bunch of titters. I mean, we build it over it. Over it. <laughs> build it over here. It'll take a while until we reach the papyrus. But that's okay. No, it's closed the notification area. That one is annoying. All the notifications. Bing, bang, boom, bong, boom, bing, boom, bing, bong. All the time. Let me just play the game. I'll find out on my own. Don't worry. I'll survive it. Irrigation research. Noise. Now we know how to pour water over plants. <laughs> no, irrigation is when it's when it's kind of automated, I think. And you make like little canals where the water flows through and irrigates your fields. That's irrigation. I guess. We got a new technology to research. What should we research? Wait, I need to turn this way. I need to turn this way. Then I need to look like this. 
a look at the thing. Hydrology. It's the cult of hydrology. What if we go... Yeah, do city defense. That lets us build a garrison. That sounds useful. We can build some fighting troops. It's been, it's been a while since uh, we started the game and we don't have any defense here, so it's getting concerning. Getting scary. Wonder can be claimed. Stonehenge, ten percent food per core legionist states. Temple of Artemis, fate, stability, health, regeneration. Ooh. What is correligionist co states? Is it like other players? Other or other countries? If they have the same correligion The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Wait, I'm the Babylonians and they made the gardens. God damn it. She. <laughs> Must be placed next to a river. Pyramid of Gaza. Can we do this? We can claim it and then... Claim this cultural wonder. This decision cannot be cancelled. Once claimed, your empire will be the only one able to build the one. Oh, so you don't have to build it, and then when you're almost done, somebody else built it? And you're screwed? That's how it works in civilization. I always hated the mechanic. You can't find your claimed wonder in any city panel. So we'll have to build it in this city, then. I don't want to build it in that city. What's with this wonder here? Health regeneration. Must be next to woodland or forest. We have forest. Build it. I'll claim it with 250 Pepega points. 250... Yeah. Claim it. What are these called? Influence. Okay, we claim the temple of Artemis. I've claimed your mom! We claimed her. Well, she belongs to me. Doesn't matter. What anyone says, I have dibs. I claimed her. Sorry. Oh no, she's ugly. Yeah, you can have her back. Understood. City defense researched. Alright. Alrighty then. What should we build next? The Temple of Artemis. 128 turns. Yeah, let's build a few other things. Let's say, for instance, we have we claimed the Temple of Artemis, so that's cool. It's cool beans. But it takes us. We can build all of these and then a lot more in the time it takes to build that thing. Farmer's quarter. We can build another farmer's quarter next to it, right? Plus one food, plus ten. Plus one food per adjacent farmer's market. So if we build one here, and then build one here, each of them will have one. We will have two adjacent farmer's markets. Oh, I can't build them here. I think my city needs to expand first. Alright, let's do markets quarters blah, 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 plus one industry per adjacent ma oh, makers quarters. Garrison. 
base for fresh soldiery. Yeah, well, okay, let's do this. Yeah, 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 okay. We need soldiers after all. We can build it. Oh, we can build it far away. I like this. Let's build it up here where we expect invasions to come from. Unless they come by boat, then we have a problem, but... Maybe we can build a road and then they can quickly go down there. Let's build it here. Cool. We can build it not adjacent to the city. That is very, very cool. They're building the farmer's market. And well, what happens with this one? Is this in the queue? Oh, it's here in the queue. Okay. A little bit more exploration. Uh. And we're back to the ocean. On this side as well. I hope you can still see I made the, the UI a little bit smaller. Over this way. Turn. It won't let us turn. Oh, because we can research something else. Let us research. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Calendar. Only three turns. Carpentry, three turns. Uh, that one lets us do a lumberyard. Or a granary. Both useful. Let's do um. A granary. A guanary. All right. Understood. I'm on it. Oh, that seed is coming along good. I hope there's no barbarians in this game. We're going to have to send some. As soon as we have a garrison, we're going to send people here and here just to, to guard the cities. So enemies can't just waltz in. You know, as they usually do, like... And then they own everything that you had. Not good. It's the waltzer of death. Okay, calendar research. Perfect. We can build a granary now. Research carpentry. Can we queue these up? Carpentry? No, we can't. Go to technology screen. Oh. So we're searching the basics. The four basics. And then from then we move on. I wonder if they're intertwined. Oh, they are. For hydrology, you need the wheel and irrigation. Interesting. Craftsmanship, rhetoric. Fortifications, sailing. Cool. Uh oh, what is this? Excuse me. Mercenaries, exhausted. Yeah, my people don't look like they can fight them. Let's get away quick. My people are scouts and mercenaries have like spears. And we have rocks. Wait, no, what do we have? Little sticks? Are those swords? Oh, they have swords. Lightly armed troops. Tasks finding... Tasked finding the enemy positions and engaging... Light skirmish. Okay, we got us carpentry researched. Fishing. Sure. Go fishing. Wait, I saw something here. So the discoverable stuff, it keeps popping up, right, from time to time. Forty, what was it? Gold? Forty monies. Yeah. Babylon. 
So what is the size of Babel on this one? Three, right? Yep. What is this? Five. Turns before completion. Oh, before it builds the garrison? Okay. So that's the project that it's building. These are the people in it. And this is the base uh, fortification value. I guess it's relevant if you if you fight to go to war. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if we should expand more. We already have mercenaries walking in here and we don't have a single fighting troop. But maybe we could build a fort here and then just... Yeah, that's too far away from any... We could build a fort here and then stay there with our scouts. We have two units, after all. If an enemy comes here, we have two... Wait, they had two... Ah, oh, whatever. We'll just do it. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. Shit. Going back home. Hi, guys. Hello. Don't attack, please. Before you choose to attack a party, you can preview the balance of power. In order to do so, select your attacking army and hover over the defending army. Hover slightly longer to preview battle areas. 28? Yeah, we're weaker. Wow, great. Wow, I love this. We're garbage. Ah, cool. It's really great. Let's run away like little girls. Yeah, I know, boys run away too, so whatever. Stop whining. I'm making jokes. Oh no, they're here. Come over here. They have followed me to my precious. So these are the equivalent of the barbarians here? Are they are they? Are they gonna Use this button on a city outpost you wish to attack. Your diplomatic ways will prevent you. Can we, like, uh, I don't know, prepare for war in here? You know, like, like fortify or... Hold this position indefinitely. Move. No, let's skip a turn. Oh, they're gonna come and attack. Fishing researched. Wow, that's really helpful now. Are they gonna attack? Oh, they left again. Okay. Wait, is that a little road that leads to my other village? Oh my god, I love this. Right. No, seriously, this is awesome. I hated to, like, have to build your all the road in the civilization game. safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. What are you doing? You can build a harbor, okay. Land unit spawn points. So this is a fortress. I guess it's good to be defend. Good to defend. And this land unit spawn. And now we can spawn soldiers in there, right? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Scouts. Wow! Well, we can build some oh, warriors and archers. Nine turns. Yeah, that's cool. We need nine turns for this and we're getting attacked next turn. Fine. We'll build warriors. One warrior. No, let's build two warriors and an archer. Let's see what these guys do. Excuse me. 
please don't, don't attack. And they're attacking. They're not attacking. I wonder what this is here. The smoky thing. We're gonna stay stationed here for another turn. Garrison, five stability. Oh look, the garrison has a health bar. I guess we did the right thing building it up here. And now putting our, our troops in it. Because we're smart. We're a little smarty pants. They can't make up their minds. Dude, they're mercenaries. They're not marauders. They're supposed to be... You can buy them and then send them somewhere. They even have the peace symbol, but they don't behave very peacefully. Behave very, you know, peacefully. Now I'm stuck in this stupid house. Yes. Station? Okay, let's stay here indef indefinitely. What is with this place? Is it still building something? Evolve your outpost into a city. Do it. Sipar. Wait, what the hell are these guys doing? Are sneaking around trying to get to the... S you little rascals, you. No. So we can be down here, down there in one turn. And with these guys, what do we do? Produce farmer's quarter. Over where? Plus two, plus one, plus two. Uh, let's do them here. I hate these guys. They're ruining my, my vibe. We can research something. Research masonry. They're moving on to my city. Can you guys get the hell out of my area? As soon as I have my warriors ready, it's gonna be heads off with you little rascals. I wonder if they can attack the garrison on their own. Maybe we should protect Come the city here. instead. Greetings to the Nubians. Now there's some good fortune. A neighbor who may be more interested in commerce than conflict. Yeah? Help me make this world a better place for all our peoples. Okay, we have to kill her. Oh, just kidding. Um, that sounds good. Oh, okay. Now we're pop up a window. Galore. Produce yourself. From my people and from myself. My name is Billy. Greetings. Let us see if we can build a better world. Let's have a surprise war for starters. Hail, sovereign. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Trade. Oh no, the pop-up windows. Stop it! I'll, I'll I'll manage it without it. I didn't find an option to turn them off. Actually, maybe I'll have another look. Forbidden new trade. Trade everything. Only trade luxuries. Oh. Bah. So the golden one is the one that's selected, right? Share maps. This proposition should be in all our best interests. Oh, they want us for gold, no? We don't want to pay for that. If we're sharing maps. Was sweeter. Yeah, indeed. If it only was sweeter, but if we're I'm we're sorry. we're sharing our maps but and no I have to pay on top of it, it's better than a bad deal. I don't need to know your maps right now. Very well. I wonder what direction the wind blows now. 
impulsive and adaptive. Impulsive deeds follow words. Adaptive, a good plan is a plan you can change. That is her. Bias, inclusive. They want to assimilate as many independent people as possible. Oh no, they're woke. They're like the Borg. They want to get as many people as possible from all the races and genders and then turn them into slaves. <sighs> Treaties. We can't propose another tra treaty. Or treaty? Treaty? No, it's a treaty, right? Sorry, my English is kind of corruptastic. Okay, um, I guess that's it. It has been a pleasure. Not really, but you know. Import, export. But goodbye. Okay, that's the diplomacy screen. Oh, these are the different uh, civilizations. We have five others in the game. Cool, 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 cool. Why are we back here when I skip the turn? Okay, I'm good. And the next turn. Uh, let's move back up here. Maybe they always come back down when I'm not in the city. Dude, I hate these guys. They're so annoying. Leave! Bye! Don't come back! Leave me alone. Are you Le interested? She's back. There is some merit in this. Forbidden you trade? Yeah, sure. We'll do trade luxuries. Oh, wait. I need 20 gold. Seems familiar. No, I'm normal you and accept. Are as just as you are wise. I'll accept trades without Let's having to, so. you know. Truly, I have not felt this good in a long time. Propose? How about we trade everything? We would all benefit from growing closer, don't you think? Your proposition is advantageous. Oh, she already accepted this it. This will be remembered. What about sharing maps? For 10, you can wait. Another proposition for 10. No, no, no. We'll wait. We'll keep the, the influence. You have to spend influence to do multiple propositions in a short time. Empire Foundation. By what rights do we rule? Stop with those pop-ups. I'll figure it out on my own. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Natural right. We claim inherent dominion over the land and beasts. Expansionistic. Tradition and progress. This is the other way. Our supremacy is ordained, for we are the chosen ones. You will have to pay an additional sum of influence to change your mind. Uh, plus three faith on territory. What exactly is faith? Let's go with more influence. Influence is a good thing. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. It belongs to me. Like everything. Legitimacy. Le legitimacy. Customary laws. Minus 50% minus to create a new outpost. Minus 20% on attach outpost cost. Minus 20% on absorb city. Oh, if you conquer another one. Let's go for that this That seems to leave a lot of interpretation of right and wrong. Not to mention yours and mine. It does indeed, Billy. It does indeed. What the hell is that? Akkad. 
Is that her? Independent people. Paying money or influence for for the patronized action will give you an increase of your relationship with this independent people per turn, showing your support and strengthening their empire. With time, you'll reach thresholds that will unlock special actions depending on the nature of on the nation, violent or peaceful. For example, you can gain access to ability to hire their armies as mercenaries, but their resources uh, but their will not attack you or share map vision. Ultimately, you may be able to assimilate them. They're peaceful. Oh, these guys are peaceful. Oh, those are the guys that are roaming my land, so they're peaceful. And I've been worried I've been worried for nothing. Hey guys, what's up? What's up, dude? Maybe it's because of the peace sign. I thought it was like I thought the peace sign would, would was just like a random sign that they picked up. It could have been anything, it doesn't have to mean anything. So if they're peaceful, and we can just build a city here. Ah, ah, ah. We'll just build another outpost. A little bit expansionistic. Don't mind if I do. New technology. Riding, wheel, sailing. Organized warfare. Hydrology. City watch. City watch? What is a city watch? But. Plus five stability on garrison. Let's invent writing. Yeah. So they're peaceful. I was worried for nothing all the time. Oh, look, we have our warriors. Our terracotta warriors are already. Oh, yes. Move them over yonder. Cool. Maybe move them to the garrison here, huh? Garrison the warriors. Why don't uh, my warriors spawn in here? Babylon. Didn't it say uh, spawn point? This was a spawn point? Land units trained by the selected city will appear here. Oh, I had to select this. Interesting. You can change the spawn point. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. New civic. We have lots of influence. We can learn more stuff. Plus 50% on higher army cost. Plus 50, minus 50%. Oh, yeah, minus, and here also minus by opening our arms to new community. An assimilate cost. How should we use other peoples? I want to assimilate them. Let's they learn may this. have more to offer than just their weapons. We're going to assimilate seem practical. these guys over here as soon as we are in good enough standing. Resistance is futile! You shall be assimilated. Wait, they're already here. They have two cities. They're ruining my land. Wait, I need to build something in my... Um... Oh yeah, no, they're building soldiers. Okay. And this one is doing nothing. Construction queue for the city is empty. Alright, let's... Do an astronomy house, yeah? <laughs> Maybe over here. One of the esthete stars has been earned. Sweet but Jesus. Can you guys build the outpost now? Where's the outpost button? Oh no, that's not my army. This is my army. Outpost? Where? Here? Is this the place? 
I can't tell. Oh shit, I think I'm building it now. Oh, they're building it and they can move now. I see. They're already building it. 20 gold. Alright, we now own... These territories here, these three. We need to build an outpost here as well. So we have a little bit of a buffer against the guys on top, huh? Go down there. Which place do they suggest? They don't suggest anything. Offer an excellent proposition. Fascinating. What are you offering? And yet... Non-aggression? Sure. Yes, I cannot dispute the benefit in that. How about sharing maps? I have a proposition for you. I think you'll like it. Let me think. Great things. This will lead to great things. We saved 20 gold. Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of the idle. Now, things that one generation learned can be passed to the next via something more reliable than campfire stories. <sighs> Access to your incense was purchased by the Nubians for 10 gold. Uh, without me having a say on it? Over this way. I guess I can override their access if I need it, huh? But if it's just there, withering, they can use it and pay me, sure. Sins of the Father. Those old will be happy to hear their interest paying monies are still prosperous. Oh, we decide, okay. We can buy, wait, two populations for a hundred gold. This is free. It makes it prosperous. I guess it makes a little bit more money for 10 turns. Restrict. Oh, the, okay. Hang on. Let's read this. The birth of writing has permitted word of your great deeds to be recorded and disseminated. In the past, person's debts died with them. Now they are inherited by their offspring. Oh, yay. However, in the new city of Sippar, the political leadership wishes to strike these debts from the record for anyone who makes the city their home. What do you say? We'll strike their debts. Oh, sure. Let's do it. We pay 100 and it grows really fast. Create your religion. Pick the base of your people's beliefs. Um, many people or... Many territories. Let's go with population. Shamanism. Follow me. Uh, new technology. Ass fucking. Oh, that's a great. <laughs> that's a great technology. I like to learn that. It's, it's really good. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone watching at this point. If you're watching, yes. He said that. And he's proud of it. No, I'm not really proud of it, but... He said it. And it's the end of the discussion, Billy. It's over. I won. So here, it doesn't suggest us a place where we can build the territory, huh? Maybe we need to explore more? It doesn't suggest us an ideal uh, place to found our stuff. 
our, our outpost. What about now? No. I think we might need to explore this place a little bit more. Maybe the ideal place is out of our vision for the time being. Could be a possibility. No, they, literally they don't tell us. Okay. Uh, best place. Plus three, plus four, plus six. Food, plus eight food. Plus two, plus eight. Four plus eight. This is a good place. So they have connected their villages with roads on their own. That's really cool. I used to like this in Civilization, having your units building roads and then automate, uh, automate them and everything. But in the end, it makes it very confusing when you always have like units moving around, around on the map all the time on their own. Can you see the bear? makes it kind of annoying with with the time and found it uh -huh. boom muspelheim oh that's a nordic isn't it a nordic name isn't it from the from the saga? From Ed, from the Edda. All right, now we own. Okay, they're still building this outpost, and they're building that one. When they're done, we'll own all of this. I guess we want to really rush up here and get this one too. We're locked in here, but we can assimilate those. Ugh. Kills them well. I guess we can. Yes, we can, and also I guess we can. For both of our aspirations. Interesting. Open borders. We will reflect upon it. Sure. Yes, I cannot dispute the benefit in that. I'll offer my open borders for your open borders, and also your open ass. I don't mind. I'll be exploring it. Cave explorer style. It'll be for, for the good of all of us. I wonder if I'm being too expansionistic though. Because I no way can I defend all that I got. Okay, we built another army. We're gonna send it up here. Oh, look, it takes one turn if they follow the road. They actually use the road. Cool. Bloody and smelly, aren't they? History Prepare may your be first battle. Battles, but that battle doesn't the mean they're enjoyable. No, I don't want to fight them. Why are they on my city? Why are they on on the top on the where are you running? Oh now they're two armies. Okay, kiddo. Listen. Fun's over. I swear, if you ta if you attack my oh, they're peaceful. They said, "What are you doing on top of my city? You're in my city." What the fuck? Oh, they're just passing through, dude. I'm moving the army into my own city, and then suddenly, you go to war. I'm like, what? What do you mean to war? I just wanted to go into my own city, but it's occupied by weird... I don't know. Very strange. 
Let's move an army over there fast. Over move way. one in here. Let's just keep them in our cities. We'll wait here. So nobody can move into them while we're not there. Wow, that was scary for a moment. What is this? The Nubians have a special interest in this place. They marked it here and said they'll... An artisan's quarter. In incense deposit. But did they build the deposit? So they can trade it from me? These guys are so annoying. They walk around my lands without asking and then they just hang out in my city and I can't enter the city. We'll stay here. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, where does it make sense to expand? I think it makes sense to expand to the right more than it does to up there. Makes more sense to expand here. Right? So we have like, uh, where's our guys? Our scouts here. So we can, we have, I think, uh, our army, our garrison here, and then we can send it into the vicinity fast. Oh no, here it is. We won't have long... If it has to go all the way up there, it's going to be annoying. This way we can reach most places in a foreseeable time. In a reasonable time. The game of prophecy. While the empire... With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population. Everywhere you go... To the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye. Wait, everywhere you go, the distinctive game board and pieces catches your eye. Insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under instruction in your palace court. But the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gasps could be heard. The game's prophecy became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Every witness should be... Let the people gossip. The prof prophecy will soon be proved false. We must listen to the divination and prepare for the worst. So what is the defiant is minus five stability and superstitious is minus two science? No! Defiant. And we're not paying for this crap. Either. No. We'll pay a cent for it. Where are our, our scouts? Oh, here. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see, this is all, this is this zone, it goes, okay, it's in this blue area. Let's look for one that has lots of food and some technology, I guess. Some industry. They all have low food. I think five is the best we can get here, huh? Maybe here we can get more? Five, we can get five here. Here and here. Let's build the city right here. Close to the garrison. It's not that far. Seems good. Feels good, man. Alright. I guess we've played enough of this game. I couldn't show you war. But I guess it's, it's similar as it's in Civilization. And, um... Uh, yeah, for me personally, this game is a boo! No, just kidding. It's a floater! Yeah! Floater! Wee! 
No, I mean, I like these types of games. Um, they would have to screw it up a lot to make this game unpleasant for me to play. It plays like Civilization. It feels like it did a few things smarter. Um, and you know what? Honestly, it looks like it's a Civilization with lots of content that would otherwise be hidden in DLCs, which you get with the basic game. This is what it feels to me. But obviously, after like a little bit over an hour, I can't give you the rundown on everything in the game. But for me overall, I'll keep this game. I'll keep playing it. Um, I suggest you do the same if you like round the base to games. Um, I got this game for half price, by the way. Um, if you don't buy it on Steam, there's other sources. Maybe I'll put one below where you can buy it if you want to buy it more cheaply. Thanks for checking out this video and <laughs>